Shazam! Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Underdeveloped here and today we have another movie review for you guys for the film Kinds of Kindness. Mm -hmm. This is the next Yorgos Lanthimos project after yeah. Poor Things, which we loved. It was, in, it was very high up in our list. It was a fantastic movie. We fantastic talked about, film. Talked about it greatly in our best of the year list. Poor Things was beautifully shot. It looked amazing. The narrative was strong. The and main, a lot of the real funny moments. Strong, <laughs> strong performances from the leads. Mm -hmm. um, re really funny moments. Really funny movie. Very funny. One of the funniest movies of the year. And um, on top of his dream scenario. Uh, and also another really good one. Um, oh, and uh, and also it did have some problems. Like I just thought some of the lessons. I I, I didn't feel that the main guy had to learn some lessons that she should have learned. Mm -hmm. I felt that kind of just got swept under the rug, which I didn't really care for because mm -hmm. that didn't do a lot for the character. But it was still was such a good movie that I still like put that to the side. Yeah. So this is very different from uh, in the film that we've covered. This is an uh, anthology movie, which which is three individual stories. That pretty much have similar themes and motifs. Yeah. Basically watching three episodes of a TV show that, that have different plots. Different plots, but Tessa said have the same themes and motifs riddled throughout the movie. Mm -hmm. That you make may have you draw um parallels. Oh yeah. I mean you yeah. definitely will at Especially least. Especially the first and third one. First and third one yeah. are very much alike, even in plots. Mm -hmm. They're just different plots, but it's the same structure. Yeah. The same Th main, same wants and goals for the main characters, essentially. Yeah. It, they're very similar to each other. Yeah. The second one's like the biggest difference of the three. Yeah. Only re only big difference is that the main character is Emma Stone in that one, and the first one is Jesse Plemons. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest difference. That's the biggest difference. And the second one has similar themes, but a different story entirely. But I think it's probably my favorite. I thought it was just so funny. <laughs> um, that second one is really entertaining. Um, that was funny. my least favorite because I really hated the ending. <laughs> I hate the ending, too. I thought the ending was weird. The ending, um, the ending kind of killed the yeah, whole thing like, for like, me, to be honest. Like, uh, wait, you, you, like, you like the idea that uh, that she was, um... It just doesn't make any fucking sense, given what, given how everything was framed in the in the at whole section of narrative. It's like that, that she it, actually was the. Uh, yeah, it yeah, doesn't make like, sense that he was actually right. I'm yeah. like, like because like it, they were so obviously painting it like no, he's just going fucking crazy. She's yeah, which totally real. I totally preferred. Yeah, but um, then, but then the choice like no, like she did all this, she sacrificed herself for him. We don't have a whole but, new set of questions. Yeah, it does because like if she was the fake, why would she do that for him? <laughs> like yeah. I don't get it. Everything before that I really liked though in terms of entertainment, that was really entertaining to watch. Mm -hmm. The first one probably I think has the most solid story. Yeah, in terms of that's in terms of humor and structure. I think the first one is my favorite of the three. I agree. The first one is, is I'll say is the best in terms of um I think it's the best. My favorite is probably the second one just because of some of the moments. Mm -hmm. But even the first, the first one had a lot of funny moments too. So I think in terms of like every everything all encompassing, I think the first one is the best. Yeah. In terms of story structure, in terms of also with the inclusion of humor that I liked. The third one kind of felt dry, even though I guess the plot was was a little more concise. I guess. Mm -hmm. But it's very similar. I've seen the first one. I didn't really need to see the third one. Yeah, the first one I think really told that kind of point of the, view already. The third, one, the biggest differences with the third one were more the whole uh, her having a her having a, a daughter that she's abandoned for this cult. Yes, that's like the biggest difference. Yes, and that and those were the more interesting parts of part three because of it were like the stuff where her and her ex husband yeah. and her daughter. Yeah, it's like it's you basically don't think about these movies just these. Uh, I don't think it really matters. Like the first movie, basically the first one was like kind of like this guy. Uh, he's kind of in his kind of cult thing with, 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 with William Defoe. Kinda, Very weird yeah. relationship where he does pretty much anything for this guy. And one of the things is to kill this dude um, in his car accident, make it look like an accident, whatever else. Um, and he's like, and William Defoe was like, uh, it's fine, dude. Like, he already knows the consequences. He's cool with it. But he's like, I'm not comfortable killing someone. You know what I mean? And then he gets outed and his life kind of goes down the toilet. Wife leaves him and he's dying to get back and he pretty much ends up leading him to do disgusting things. Mm -hmm. Desperate things. He's desperate <laughs> to get back with this. He's desperate to get back into this unhealthy attachment. Yeah. Um uh like a cult. <laughs> uh but the third one's just literal. So yeah, the third one's one. super literally yeah. like that's straight up just a cult. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's no subtlety in the third one. No. Um uh and the second one is is this is very different, but has some of the funniest moments, man. That fucking scene where where he's looking at the sex tape between him and his best friend. 
And they're fucking each other's wives. Fucking each other's wives. I'm like, oh. Uh, and the way you watch it, it was the sincerity in his performance. Yeah. Like, he watched it with real nostalgia. Like, I missed nothing. Like, it was so genuine and so wholesome. Like, oh, these were, something so, like. These were the days, man. Was, yeah, something so, like, you know what I mean? Taboo-y. It's like, it's like, and freaky. It's like, damn, yeah. son. And just so just uncomfortable yeah. everyone else was. Exactly. It just added it, so much to it. It made it. That alone makes it my favorite because it's so goddamn funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that laughs so goddamn hard. I was like, yeah, <laughs> oh man, it, 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 it was it was it was hilarious. Um, uh, uh, yeah, but the second one is kind of pretty much his wife. Uh, she went missing. She went missing on an island or some Olive Queen shit. Yeah, she, uh, yeah, presumed basically. dead. <laughs> uh, presumed dead, and you know, I mean, he's sad and distraught. Um, and then. Um, and he's like kind of channeling his uh he's kind of channeling it into his job mhm yeah uh, uh like sh- it's like messing with his head a bit at work yeah exactly yeah. and pretty much um and she comes back and yeah. He's kind of like, this is not my wife. She's moving differently. Mm-hmm. Like all the things I used yeah. to do. Like, she didn't like chocolate before. Yes, yeah, so she likes chocolate now. Her, her shoe doesn't she fit doesn't, anymore. And all she wants to do is fuck, and he doesn't want to because he's weirded out by the whole thing. He's very suspicious. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it just leaves him down dark. Yeah, it, it, it leads to him making her cut off her own body parts. It's yeah. fucked up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it is a very fucked up story. It's Yeah, it's fucked up. Um, and it turns out that, yeah, she, I guess she was fake because he had a ball in her head off and then the real one comes in. Well, he didn't no, she, no, she had a ball in her head because she's like, I just want to please you. Yeah. And she kills herself. Yeah. Um, and, she, get, uh, she cuts off her own leather. Yeah, whatever. She kills herself. And, um, and, uh, she, and yeah, the real one comes. Yeah. Just like that. Like, yeah. what the fuck am I supposed to take from that story? I don't um, get it. <laughs> and the third one. Uh, it's kind of like a reversal of the first one because Jesse Plummers was the main character in the first one, mm-hmm. but this time it's Emma Stone and Emma Stone. Um, she's in this cult, which yeah. is like weird about like pu- like purity in your like yeah. Uh, they're all about, they're all about water and stuff, yeah. and she's looking for this Messiah who's supposed to bring back dead people. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. She does, and um, also leads her back to reconnect with, not reconnect, but back to the her um her, her, like her. Her ex and her kid. Yeah, because kind of because she crashes in their she, she crashes in their house sometimes. Yeah. It's like she sprinkles water over her daughter's bed sheets, like it's like yeah. holy water. Yeah, <laughs> it's like weird, very weird. Yeah, and basically he does the baby dad. He does some real weird shit. Oh, he does pretty much on some Bill Cosby date rape. He um, thought does that. Yeah, it's not pretty much. Yeah, he yeah, does yeah, that. Like, sure, he should Bill Cosby, sir. Um, straight up, like uh, at least you know, I mean, like what Easy Kids are doing. Um, he uh, date rate, he date, he date, he date raped her essentially, mm-hmm. and that ended up making her body toxic, and she gets booted out of the cult, yeah, because of it. And the whole thing is her doing very ugly and desperate things, just like Jesse Plumbers, yeah, to get back into this cult, um, alongside finding the Messiah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Frank must say, was how was her basically her plan to yeah. get it back into the exactly. cult, and uh, <laughs> she she sort of succeeds. She gets it, and she's like, "Yes, we're gonna bring you there. It's gonna be great." And, and then she kills poof. her. Media traffic accident. She dies. She dies, and yeah, that's kind of that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, but also the, the things that these movies have in common is that yeah, just especially in the first third one is these two characters are very desperate to get back to these toxic relationships. Mm-hmm. It's kind of about human nature. Pretty much, like yeah, it's about the power are, manipulation. Yeah, it's pretty much the things we're willing to do. Um, do you feel like we belong? To f- exactly. To feel, feel like, like we have some sort of purpose. Yeah, exactly. Because that's really what it is. Because w- w- humanity is not even just about money, whatever else. It's about feeling useful. It's about feeling like we matter. Mm-hmm. And the desperate links we go to to get back into these situations where we feel like we matter, even though those things are very toxic and hazardous for our health and our well being. Yeah, you know what I mean. We don't recognize these things as being toxic to us because they give a yes, they give us a sense of fulfillment in one yeah. way or another. Yeah, Even exactly. though these things are absolutely horrible for us, and we're generally better without them. Exactly, but we're too blinded by the vision mm-hmm. to see what's happening to you right now. You know, yeah, like it's my like it's just it's a psychological phenomenon where people will believe outlandish things just because it just makes them feel better. Yeah, explains cult- cultism pretty much. Oh yeah, it was very big on cultism. Yeah, it is, and the, and the mindset there. It's about it's about how we're, it's about and like the the cult analogy is like it's very poignant because it's basically comparing any sort of relationship that we could have in real life to a cult type relationship where one person's highly dependent on another. Like, oh yeah. Uh, 
like Emma Stone's character was highly dependent on the acceptance of Jesse Plemons' character in the second movie. She's like, oh, Jesse Plemons' character was highly dependent on Willem Dafoe's character in the first movie, Mm -hmm. movie, and Emma Stone was depending on everyone in in the third one. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because those those makes us feel like we matter. Yeah. Like, she doesn't want to believe that she abandoned her family for nothing. (laughs) Exactly. She does trouble things for for nothing. Mm -hmm. Now you worth something, you know? Yeah. Kind of like religion, too. Kind of why we join it, and because we want to feel like Mm -hmm. it makes us feel something bigger than ourselves, you know? Yeah. So it's good to put all all our eggs in that one basket. Mm Mm-hmm. That's why so many cults are religious. Yeah. Because there's there's just a lot of the same type of appeal there for a lot of people. Mm Mm-hmm. Give yourself the Christ and whatnot. And that somehow alleviates all the horrible things you've done because under the protection of Christ, it's you know okay. I mean? You repent, says it's okay, say, you say five Hail Marys and you're all good, buddy. <laughs> yeah, totally. The fuck? Yeah, because that's holy it makes okay. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, man, I like this movie a lot. Um, what else do you have to say about this? Really, like, I do think I am kind of biased because I'm just not a big fan of anthology movies in general. It's just really not my vibe. Like, if you took that first sketch and, like, made it about as long as four things, I would like this movie, like, a lot better than this movie. <laughs> but as a whole, like, they are three good individual parts that could have become their own movies. Like, that is, like, that's basically just my stance on this. Like, if any of these were their own movie, it would have been better than what we had here. But what we have here is still worth seeing. It's still good, has real funny moments. Real crazy things happen. So if you're a fan of your gross Lathamos at all, then you'll probably like this, quite frankly. Yeah, I think he's new hot thing. Yeah. I mean, Poor Things was a fantastic movie. And here we this have is this. pretty freaking good. Yeah. Um, you, I'll probably say as good as the Poor Thing, but pretty damn good. But yeah, but this is a solid movie in its own, right? I think I'll guess uh, my score is, say, about 88. My score is going to be about 84. It is a pretty solid movie. I wouldn't call it great, but with that being said, I'm sure there's plenty that would disagree with me, those who are more like uh, keen to this anthology style, if you are. But if there's something that won't bother you, then absolutely go see this movie. Then there's, you have no good excuse not to, yeah, quite it, frankly. If it's into good movies, it just, what doesn't, if not into, like, you're not picky about shit like that, yeah. then you watch it for sure. Yeah, like, even then, like, this is definitely a movie worth giving a try. Though, if you do have the option between this or poor things, I would say go with poor things. <laughs> Yeah, I'll say Poor Things is relatively a better movie. <laughs> yeah, definitely. In general, I mean, because it's just fantastic. It was just one of the best of last year, period. Has not. Mm hmm. Yeah. That, Saltburn, um, uh, another fantastic film um, with uh, 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 Past Lives. You know, those yeah. are just three excellent movies from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, last year, last year was a real, last year was a real good one. Like yeah, fucking American yeah. Fiction was there too. I was up there too. That's a good one. We didn't even talk about Spider Verse. Yeah. Spider Verse. I mean, yeah, that was fucking great. Well, anyways, we're going a little off topic here. <laughs> please make sure, you, look, please, if you have interest interesting this movie, go, go go see it in theaters. Please support good movies in your mo- local movie theater. Have a good time and go out and just me- uh, out and watch it. It is definitely a movie worth your time. And with that being said, hit the like, subscribe button, y'all, and we'll see you next time for some more videos. See you guys later.